Hey everybody, this is Gary Batan, the host of NDI November. This is our fourth NDI November, and today for our keynote speaker, we're so happy we have Tanya Maffeo from NDI. And Tanya, before we get into the show to talk about NDI, let's talk about you and your new role, because you've just stepped up to a new role over at NDI. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Tonya, and thank you very much, Gary, for having me today for this new NDI November edition. So, yeah, just a couple of words about myself so I can introduce myself properly. Uh, so I've been always working in media and tech, and my biggest background is in podcasting, uh, having worked for a couple of companies that allowed content creators to create, distribute, and monetize podcasts. Uh, one of these companies was then acquired by iHeartMedia, and um, uh, before joining NDI, I spent a few years uh, running the marketing team of this podcast division at iHeartMedia. But then, in April this year, I joined NDI as the head of marketing, and since then, with my team, we have been working to deliver a lot of new initiatives to grow the NDI community. Awesome. So let's jump right into our NDI questions about NDI. And thank you so much for participating in the show. I know you've only been with NDI for the past year or so. So let's just look at that thing. Since you started to where we are, to where you know we're going, you know, what's the current state of NDI and, you know, what's coming? Okay. So a few words about NDI first. So uh, I was really excited when I joined NDI because the story of NDI is fantastic. Uh, as many of the people listening uh, right now might know, NDI started as a proprietary technology invented and used by new tech uh, and uh, now part of VZRT. And what just started as a way to send uh, a video signal using an IP address for TriCaster has then quickly evolved into a growing ecosystem of different brands, product, and workflows. And since two, 2015, NDI has been, in my opinion, continuously evolving in two ways. So firstly, uh, by introducing, uh, by reducing, sorry, complexity and becoming more seamless. In the beginning, the most uh, significant value of NDI was replacing cables with one single Ethernet cable that could power your device. But today, what we developed uh, and how we developed our core, our core tech uh, is reached a point where NDI is no longer just about replacing multiple cables with one, but eventually replacing all cables at all. So. The second thing that I would like to highlight today is that NDI has been evolving by expanding a lot of possibilities. The support of multiple video format like NDI high bandwidth, NDI HX, NDI HX3 uh, is an example of that. And the continuous addition of more and better protocols, codecs and NDI tools and interoperability features really keeps pushing our tech to remove the limits of video connectivity. Now, talking about what NDI is going to be doing in the future, what I can say is that we have prepared a very important product announcement uh, that we started teasing at IBC this year, which is NDI 6. Uh, NDI 6, it is coming, and it will be an update that will support video quality for high-end applications that require better image and color depth. And we're aiming to share more news about NDI 6 with the community before the end of the year. That's awesome. And, you know, NDI has grown as a technology, but we're really – I'm going to throw you this question because it's really the, 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 the $100 million billion dollar question. That is pro-AV, pro-video is a great sport great spot in a market segment. That's where NDI has really got started and where it's been. But now NDI has become such a ubiquitous technology that's everywhere where there's video that could be NDI. It's actually growing into new industries and new verticals beyond just what we call the pro video space or even the AV space. Can you talk about some of those opportunities? Because while video and video content creation is great, the world of video has gone from tens of millions to hundreds of millions to billions of users, creators, and dollars. Yeah, Gary, you're right. 
the adoption of NDI is really expanding beyond pro broadcast and live streaming. Now we have a lot of news, new cases, for example, in pro-AB markets and in other industries such as, for example, uh, conferencing, hybrid learning, large pro-AB installation, security, healthcare, and I could go on and on. Uh, let me give you some numbers. Um, there's over 600,000 um, NDI-enabled devices connecting wow. worldwide. Yeah, that's huge, right? So our standard is the most adopted video over IP technology today in broadcast and pro-AV. And it's actually quickly becoming one of the, the most relevant connectivity technologies for video in general. And I believe that there are a few factors that are actually fuels, you know, these adoption. I'm gonna mention a few now. Uh, first, the fact that it reduces the cost of TV and video production studios because it shifts from hardware to software solution. And so this way, uh, it really limits the number of people and devices that are required uh, on site. The second thing is the ease of use and the efficiency. Uh, what we always hear when we talk to our end user and community is that it just works. The third thing is that uh, NDI solves a variety, like a, a huge spectrum of challenges, uh, different use cases, workflows, all with just one unifying standard. And last but not least, um, any NDI enabled product is just plug and play. So this makes any workflow easy and seamless to operate, even if you don't have any networking net knowledge, for example. And uh, as we are talking about pro AV installation, I wanted to mention one success story that we learned recently uh, with my team. Uh, on our website, we published a story uh, about how MSC has implemented uh, an NDI infrastructure on a ship in the middle of the sea. Now, for those of you who don't know, MSC is the third largest cruise line in the world, and it has, I believe, 300 history of navigating the oceans or something like this. So like the rest of the cruise uh, industry, um, MSC was uh, traditionally using HDMI video with SDI cables to connect the equipment uh, across the ships. Um, and this of course was creating like a, uh, a number of different challenges. The infrastructure was expensive, there was lack of interoperability, and also was really difficult you know, to deploy on the sea because uh, the AV team, for example, had to be very careful with the amount of hardware that would be able to bring on board. So when we reached out to the manager of the broadcast and digital division uh, to hear the story, uh, what he said is that NDI was the best decision ever made because it could reduce the infrastructure, it could save space, it could add simplicity and most of all, most important, uh, introduce interoperability. And this is like just a, one of the great story that we hear every day. So right now we can you know, say probably that NDI is the tech behind the entertainment that we consume when we are sailing on a cruise ship. And I think it's amazing. I love that story and I will tell you, it's just at NAB New York and I must've told that exact story to five or six different customers and vendors. I think it's such a great use case. And it really brings out something about NDI that I like to talk about a lot that you didn't even mention in your top three. And that is, it's so scalable and flexible. So you don't have to, it's great that they did the whole ship, but I'm sure in their early runs, they were just testing, you know, the theater or they were just testing, you know, a certain room and stuff. And then they saw how not only could they see these things work, but that they could then share signals from one to the other. And all of a sudden an engineer goes, oh my God, the whole world just opened up to me. I could put a camera anywhere and bingo, it's on the ship. I can imagine on a cruise ship, if you've got to run a cable that's now got to be in a part of the boat where there's no cable, I would imagine that's not something they look forward to doing. Yeah, correct. So that let's take another one because that, that brings us on a great use case. Let's talk about some of the new applications where NDI is going because the one thing that I'm seeing is the technology is just really... I don't want to say it's it's outgrowing where we thought it would be. I don't think it's outgrowing the expectations that Dr. Cross had when he set the whole thing up, but it's really amazing to me how people are just finding new ways to apply it, and you're giving your customers new tools as well. So talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I'm super excited about the next steps of NDI. Um, as we see, you know, NDI in more industries, uh, in, in the pro-AV market, like big installation, as we 
spoke just spoke or corporate and conferences. Um, there is there is another story that I wanted to to bring today uh, to the conversation um, that we're going to be publishing. This is not published yet, so it's a bit of a spoiler on our website in the next week. And it's a story about Siemens Italy. So Siemens provide um, building automation solution, and they also have their own production studio at their main office, mainly for internal internal use. So just for you know corporate broadcast. Yeah. And this studio was uh, originally built on uh, SDI architecture, and today again is all moved into NDI. They are using HX3. And this is yet another example of how NDI you know can make it easy to to put together like a, an, an entire infrastructure. Because when we talked about Siemens, they said that NDI really helped them to reduce a lot of cabling, uh, which was very positive uh, also for safety reasons. Uh, you know, you can have with few cable, cables around, of course you have more safe. And Less things for people to trip was, on, right? Exactly. <laughs> and another advantage was that, uh, which I believe is super important, is that uh, it only takes one day to configure the studio. While, for example, with SDI, it would take two, three days. So uh, I think this is a, a very interesting application case, in this case, for example, for corporate, uh, that I, I see and envision in the future uh, growing even more. Another level of implementation that we recently saw that I also wanted to uh, bring to the conversation today is uh, um, NDI used with consumer level devices. We announced it recently, uh, the first podcast mixer uh, with the support of NDI, which is the DLZ creator for Mackie. Um, and I believe this is going to be just the first of many coming uh, in the future. So uh, I think, you know, all these new stories that we hear every day, all these new products, uh, um, they are going to be again and again, you know, adding new uh, end user, again, stories about NDI. And I think it's just the beginning. You know, it, it's great. It's perfect how you're segueing into these questions because, you know, you talked about how Mackie just came out with this podcast. Or, you know, we're looking at, you know, the evolution, the first products that we sold that worked with NDI were PTZ cameras. And now mm -hmm. I would say the bulk of PTZ cameras that are available in the United States for consumer to prosumer to professional broadcast levels have NDI. It's either built into them or it can be added later through firmware. So you've completely taken over, you know, the camera business. We're even seeing studio cameras from people like JVC that now have NDI built into them. And just... I'm really intrigued to hear about some of the other partners you've talked about because really NDI, you're you're the brand and you're the technology, but it's really your partners who make the stuff that make the magic work. So talk about some of your partners. Yeah, that's totally true. Our partners make the magic and the collaboration with, with the partners is vital, is super important for us. Um, each day, the number of NDI compatible devices grows a lot. Um, let me give you um, another number. Uh, like according to High Vision's broadcast transformation report to 2023, NDI is the most used IP-based technology among respondents uh, leveraging IP. So this expanding number of devices and application, um, it's great, but at the same time introduce a little bit of complexity because it's really important that we keep collaborating with the partners uh, and we keep collaborating with other tech companies so that we are sure we can deliver our high efficient plug and play and interoperable standard and experience. And to answer to this uh, uh, ecosystem growing, uh, we actually recently uh, announced uh, a new certification program. Um, and this certification program is a program that is built to ensure that every new NDI product is compatible with our standard. Uh, in this way, again, we make sure that the connectivity experience is there, both for end users and installers. The products that can uh, request, let's say, the level of uh, certification are products that have NDI natively built, but also products that don't have NDI natively built. Um, and to request the certification is super easy. It's just You just have to reach out to our support team and ask for more information, and our support team will let you know everything you need to do to get this certification. 
But in general, collaborations are very, very important with our partners also at other level, levels. Uh, this year, for example, we have worked a lot with the, um, our partners on a lot of different events, uh, and you know about this, uh, both in presence and online. Um, and thanks to this collaboration, actually, we have created a lot of moments where we have been able to share, you know, all the NDI stories and learn each other from this moment of knowledge sharing. So really, it's it's super important and it's magic how we can rely on the collaboration of our partners. You know, I want to thank you for what you said about the new certification program, because the truth of the matter is, is over a couple of years ago, it kind of got to the point where people were putting that they had NDI on products where they had some NDI compatibility, but they weren't true NDI products. And I saw when you launched HX3 and talked to our partners, our other vendors, they said, no, you really have to have a level of, you know, tight integration and meet the certification where... I think with HX3, you set it more from certification to where it's almost a standard now, and you're treating it yeah. as if you were a standards body, and clearly you're not, because this has come about by adoption, but I appreciate that immensely, because there were a lot of products that we would have, uh, a TriCaster, and a guy would have products, and all of a sudden you buy a PTZ camera from XYZ out of China, they'd say they had NDI, and you know, yeah, they'd be NDI, but it would be a terrible implementation, very low, not the full thing. With HX3, you really set a new bar. So kudos to you on that. We're really excited. And I'm sure with NDI 6, it's going to be even more exciting. But one of the things I want to talk about is, is NDI isn't just you guys. It's not just your brand. It's not just vendors making NDI. It's now become kind of like a community of people helping each other and talking to each other. And one of the things I know is, NDI listens because I know there's things that we've heard a little uproar in the user base of people actually shooting and producing products with NDI workflows. And the next thing you yeah. know, you guys are implementing it into future standards. And I think the HX3 is a perfect example of that because, you know, latency was a really big issue for the NDI community. And you really, you, you, you wiped out that as an issue. When people are using HX3, I don't hear the word latency come up in conversations anymore. And that's a a beautiful thing. So talk about the importance of the community because I know you guys listen. And I think that's so important when our vendors listen to what the users are living and experiencing every day when they use the technology. Yeah, thank you very much for saying that. It's super important, the community. Our connected community, as we like to, to name it, is definitely our strength. And we really wake up every day to make sure that we are adding value to the thousands of users of NDI that we have every day. So with our free SDK and the suite of tools that everybody can download, um, everybody give feedback you know about this product and as you were saying we listen to the feedback and we are going to continue listening to the feedback and improving our technology and making you know iteration listening to the feedback and making sure that our tech improves uh, for every new release that we have um, also um, the, import the importance of the community it is going to be even more highlighted, if you like, in the future um, with other activities that we want to do targeted to the community uh, in addition to the one that we have already. So I'm going to give you just a spoiler about what you're going to see in 2024 as we are developing an engagement program, a community program uh, for installers and system integrators uh, that at the end of the day are the real NDI expert uh, because, uh, we, because we really want to get more feedback from the installers and the system integrators and we want to have more knowledge sharing moments and also create moments of you know business opportunities uh, so we hope that with these new initiatives in 2024 we're gonna uh, reinforce you know our relationship with the community having these moments uh, where again you know we can meet we can talk and we can hear you that, that's fantastic you know, one of the things that I think is come about as you guys have, I'm going to say conquered the world of video, because that's really what's happening. You know, in our world, if you don't have NDI, you're not really a player in video production anymore. But I think one of the things that comes up is there are certain best practices that you really need if you're going to be successfully implementing NDI. Or let's say you're coming late to the party and you're learning about NDI now on this show and you want to be put NDI workflows into your video production studio, into your AV conferencing, whatever you're doing. Talk about some of those best practices. But before you do, I got to jump in and say our number one best practice piece of advice 
is get yeah. one of these Netgear AV optimized switches to build around your whole system. We It is our number one tech support solution. And it's crazy. But over the years, we had so many people, they'd be complaining about stuff. We'd be on the phone for hours. And we would finally, the Netgear did this. It was just, not only are these switches optimized for NDI and IP, it's a super easy GUI to work with. And also, if you get to something super duper complex, they have a pre-sales tech team that's available. And I hate to, to, to do that, but you talk about a five-star partner, a gold partner. I mean, they're certainly one of them, but that's our number one recommendation if you want to optimize. But I'd love to hear some other thoughts you may have. Now, I'm not going to be actually talking about products in particular. I'm going to be talking more about what we think is important uh, for end users to really um, read and um, and, ha and have, have access to when it comes to um, advice. You know, uh, we recently uh, released uh, a new section on our website that it's called uh, Docs and Guide. Um, and it's actually a place where end user can really understand, you know, the tech behind NDI. So what is NDI? How can we use NDI? Uh, all these questions are answered there. And finally, there is a place, you know, where you can go there and really read all this information. And we have made a lot of effort actually to release the NDI white paper and these official documentation. And it's all recapped in this section. And I think it's really important that people out there, the community know that we have this section now. And it's actually an under construction always section because we're going to be adding stuff as we learn, as we go, um, it's not completed. It will never be completed because, as I said, you know, as we learn, we're going to add information. But I think it's important now to share this with the community and to, you know, to say this to all the NDI lovers uh, because now you have a place where you can read how um, our technology can be can be used. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, my my call uh, would be to go there, uh, you know, read what we have and let us know what's your feedback and what do you think is missing, uh, because we're definitely going to be improving that. But I think it's a very good uh, starting point. I love it. And you'll have information there suitable for someone getting started as well as more advanced yeah. people. You know, yeah. someone who wants to put it on a cruise ship has got to learn some stuff somewhere, exactly. right? Yeah. So one of the things I think is also important, just as you're certifying your vendors, you guys kind of now have an NDI education certification process for people who become certified, which I think is it's very important as a high-end user of the technology. But I also know that there are a lot of resellers out there. And as a reseller, you want to know that you've got people on staff who are certified so that you, when your customer comes to you, they can have the confidence that, hey, this guy or this gal really knows what she's doing or he's doing with NDI. And they're going to set me up with a system that really is flexible, expandable, scalable, and rock solid. So talk about some of that certification because the certification is, we love it. We love it when you can be, the, the more knowledge you can have, the better. And if you're a certified NDI person, I think like for a kid in school who wants to go into media or wants to go into video production communications, not a bad idea to get some of these certifications, right? As you go on to trying to find a job in the workplace because the workplace, NDI is everywhere now. It's not just on small little studios like ours. There's NDI at broadcast levels. If you're, if there's video being produced, there's NDI in the mix in the workflow. Yeah, so the certification you're mentioning right now is something that we would like to introduce with the system integrator program that I was mentioning before. So it is definitely something that we are talking about internally and potentially is going to be something that we will be releasing uh, uh, sometimes during 2024. Uh, during 2023, so this year, what we have done has been uh, introducing a variety of uh, rituals, I call them rituals, that are helping our community of professionals to get education about you know, the NDI effective use of the technology. Um, I'm going to just uh, mention a few examples of these activities that we have been doing since uh, January. Um, the educational seminars, for example, that are normally uh, moments of knowledge sharing connected to regional trade shows uh, where our partners, for example, can educate the audience about uh, the best use of NDI in specific workflows, installations, etc. Uh, we also uh, introduced at the beginning of the year um, the webinar series. Uh, this is more like an informal but still 
uh, informative way to have conversations about uh, um, NDI. And also um, another, I think, very important series that we uh, recently um, introduced it with the community is the Connected Community Newsletter uh, that we inaugurated a couple of months ago uh, that already has like thousands of readers and subscribers every month uh, where you can find uh, NDI exclusive content. Now, all these um, formats uh, uh, are for us a way to train in a way and also educate the community about NDI. And in addition to that, we would like to introduce a more formal, quote unquote, certification for installers uh, and for system integrators uh, uh, during 2024. Um, I can't, you know, say when exactly, but there is this project going on. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we're going to have something out very soon. That's great. And people can go to NDI video and they can subscribe to the Connected Newsletter from there, correct? Correct. Yes. All right. So now the disclaimer, because you're new to doing my shows, but now comes the question that you could get yourself in trouble. So don't give any answers that are going to, you know, affect your career. But this is where we like to ask you to peel back the curtains a little bit and tell us about some of the upcoming advancements and, you know, their industry impact. Now, you talked about NDI 6 a little bit, but, you know, what do you see coming over the next year or two or three that you think is really going to be a game changer in not just NDI and the future of the world? And I'm going to set you up a little bit with that because 2110 kind of had a big coming out party at NAB in, in April and now there. And you guys, when, when people say 2110, I like to remind people, this isn't a competition. NDI is a integrated part of 2110. So just talk about the future a little bit. If you could spin a little 2110 into that too, we'd appreciate that. <laughs> well, I don't know how much I can say about this now, but uh, what I can say again is that we are working on NDI 6 uh, and this release, what I can say is that has been really created listening to the feedback from the user. Uh, so we're going to be adding a new feature that actually has have been requested so far quite a lot. Uh, and this new feature will improve, you know, how video images are delivered. Uh, this is in general what I can say right now. Uh, what I can also say is that in the future, how I see NDI is definitely um, improving the, the technology, looking at the pro AV markets and segments and looking at the content creator prosumers. So um, I really think that the technology is going to, uh, you know, take off in different directions and will create different uh, um, products or part of the technology that are will be answering you know particular needs of the uh of these segments so uh this is at least what we have right now as a vision and and this is what i you know what i can say uh, without putting myself in an uncomfortable uh position i don't know if i answered your question you, you answered it without getting yourself fired so good job tanya and great job on kicking off with a <laughs> Excellent opening, you, you know, for NDI November 2023. We are so excited about the coming shows over the coming months, and we'll be telling you all about that on the bump on the outro that people will be playing later. But NDINovember.com, that's where you can go and log in, and you can sign up for, you know, being a part of it. There's also going to be giveaways that we're doing and stuff like that, but I'm not supposed to talk about that on the show. Now I'm just supposed to talk about NDI and Tanya. Great job. It was a fantastic kickoff. We're really looking forward to it. Welcome aboard to, you know, NDI. I think you're doing a great job. We're looking forward to a lot of cool stuff in the future. And I'm going to ask you, are, we gonna, are you going to be at, coming to Vegas for NDI and in, 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 for NAB in Vegas? Can, I, can, can we meet face-to-face -face yeah. at that point? Yeah, and I would love to do that. Yes, I'm coming. And yeah, it was a really a real pleasure for me to be here. Uh, really honored to kick off NDI November this year. And uh, thank you so much for having me. And to everybody listening, uh, if you have any question, if you have any feedback about NDI, feel free to reach out to me, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. I will be super happy to help you if I can. Cool. And to everyone out there, for more information about NDI and NDI 6 that's coming, you know, stay tuned, follow our blogs, and also log into NDI video and sign up for the Connected Newsletter. Tanya, thank you so much. Everyone, NDI November, it's officially started. Thank you very much. Let's create great videos, and let's make them even better using NDI technology. Thanks a lot, Tanya. Everyone, Bye. we'll see you over the course of November. Bye.
Join us for NDI November 2023, starting October 31st at 3 p.m. Eastern. Register today for free access to all nine webinars, plus a chance to win one of our many NDI November giveaways. Register today at ndinovember.com.